Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, all protocols observed, and my colleagues in healthcare, good uh, morning, good afternoon. Uh, Your Excellency, I stand here to talk about issues of health in a perspective of our bottom up, because we are talking to the Kenya Kwanzaa team. And uh, Your Excellency, I want to take you through a very simple scenario because what I wanted to speak about NHIF has already been spoken. So I just want to take you to where you started. And what you said that you have been going around the country and you have met with several people who have issues on health. And I want to tell you that um, there is a mother who has given birth to a child and doesn't know the problem, goes to the next health center, takes about six months loitering around level one, level two, and level three, before she even reaches to level four. By the time we are reaching level four hospital, we are doing almost a whole year. By the time we are reaching to level five, we are going to our second year. And when we reach to Kenyatta National Hospital, which is the highest level of our referral, we are doing our third year. Maybe a child, or even an adult. In Kenyatta National Hospital, Let's take, for example, the person who had a problem with the heart. The booking for the heart surgery now is, the bookings are up to 2027, 20, or even some going to 2028. 20, that is a basically a bottom-up approach of an ordinary Kenyan in our country. And you can imagine the medical people, the nurses especially, who are dealing with these patients on a daily basis coming to these hospitals, seeing them suffering, and going through a lot of torture. Basically, what am I saying? I want to put the task of improving our health care services in this country with the governance. And the people that I want to put into task, above all, is our parliamentarians. When we look at our NHIF, it is only in Parliament, Your Excellency, where we can make the right policies, the right laws, which can be able to work for our healthcare systems in this country. But what we see in Parliament many a times, it doesn't seem like those parliamentarians really have seen these patients suffering. And that is why when a bill is brought in Parliament touching on health issues, it is not given the right timings, it delays, and the speaker who has spoken here about NHIF has literally said that there are several amendments that are still lying in Parliament, and nobody seems to take the first lead to take these issues as a first priority in Parliament. So where is the catch and where do we start? We start by ensuring that we mitigate the losses and the wastages that are in NHIF. Because when you see most of these patients struggling, it is because when they come to, let's use for example Kenyatta National Hospital, they are told that we need investigations. Those investigations are not covered by NHIF. So these people start another journey to go to look for money to pay for their investigations and they can't even afford. They are living in below poverty life. Even getting food for these children is very hard even for these people. So the parliamentarians should be able to enact laws that will be able to shape the NHIF. Majority of the Kenyans, they do not even understand what is a private hospital. And the speaker who spoke here from private talked very well about uh, financing of healthcare system. But Your Excellency, you can imagine how many people in this country depend on private institution for healthcare. Very few. So the largest population is still untaken care of. So basically, Your Excellency, I would request you kindly, in the next parliament, because we know that there are people who have not been able to go to parliament through the normal process of going to get elected in the, by the public. But we can nominate these people to parliament. We know them. We can nominate them. And when we do the nominations, we will still, we will still nominate the, the politicians who have never seen a mother coming to the hospital with a child for a whole year, and that child ends up dying. I want to give you a very good example. I've worked in Kenyatta National Hospital Critical Care Unit from the year 04. 
And I want to tell you, we struggle so much when a patient comes from theater. If you come for a night shift, the whole of 14 hours, you are on your knees, measuring urine, measuring blood, every drop of fluid that is coming from the body of that patient who has come from theater. And we struggle. The doctors don't sleep. And we, take, we ensure that that patient who has come from hope and surgery has recovered. Good luck. Seven days, the patient is taken to the ward. And we are very happy we have done a good job. And after another seven to 14 days, the patient has improved quite well and is discharged to go home, Your Excellency. But do you know what? The bill is two million. Where do these people get the two million? The NHIF cannot cover the whole bill, and so it covers just a portion of it. So what happens? We retain those patients in the ward. And do you know what? Because of the congestion in these ones, we put those people on the floor. They start sleeping on the floor. How many days can you sleep on that floor? You will sleep there for one day, the second day, the third day, you can't even breathe. Your chest is already congested again. And what happens? The patient that we struggled so much in ICU for all those days, the patient who was well in the ward ends up getting reinfected. And do you know what? We are brought back that patient in ICU and the patient dies when we are resuscitating. That is basically the scenario and the pain of healthcare providers. Your Excellency, kindly, as I finish, make sure that in your government, because I know we will pray for you as healthcare providers, you ensure that you nominate a few healthcare providers in parliament so that we will come to help you ensure that the issues of healthcare are well articulated, Your Excellency. And I start here to confirm to you that these healthcare providers will be behind you. And now it's my humble pleasure to invite the General Secretary. Uh, is he around? Yeah, Mr. Panyako of the Kenya National Union of Nurses. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Maybe, maybe before you leave, I want to say this, that a lot of the health laws that are brought by government, including the NHIF, are not addressing the issues that you wanted to be addressed. They are busy removing unions from key positions Can in the health sector. And that's why we were keeping them. So when the health professionals sitting behind me write to me that these are not the right laws, the only way I can help you is to keep the law pending in parliament. So don't blame me. And I think I'm sure we are going to do it. So I was saving you sometimes to make sure that... Uh, the minister's business was just to remove you from critical bodies we felt uh, that affects the men and women who are sitting behind me. Wow. And that is why when you are appointing Kaidre, you can appoint some of us and we will be able to articulate the issues of health in parliament. Thank you very much, sir. Iwapo unapenda habari na zokuletea, basi subscribe kwenye channel hii ili uwe unapata uhondo kila wakati. Shukran.